John here guys and today we are talking about 6S packs. Well, I found myself at the local Fun Fly yesterday out at Andy's property, which was a little far but very spacious and awesome. So thanks to him for hosting us. And I realized that I had 6 of the latest 6S packs on the market. So I thought I would just do a little bit of a talk through um, each one of these how they did for me and try to give you some information now This is not going to be as detailed as something like Johnny fly or the Bardwell would do where I'm doing lots of measurements I flew probably 30 to 35 packs yesterday because it was an intense all-day practice. I did um, multiple packs on each one of these um, I had about 14 or 15 packs with me in total um, So a few of each of these and just how do they compare? So I can tell you, um, well, before we get started, let's just go down the list. So I have the Pyro Drone um, 1250 Who Cares Pack, the Race Day Quads 1250 uh, Success Pack, the China Hobby Line Mini Star 1250 Pack, and the Xylo 1250 75C Pack uh, by Get FPV. So right away, I can tell you that one of these packs is not on the same level as the other three, and that is the China hobby line this one has the least amount of power compared to the other four um, which was really shocking to me um, i was very surprised um, because if you were to ask what's the best 4s pack to buy i would very likely tell you the china hobby line 1300 um, 100 c 4s pack or the 1500 version of that that is the best bang for the budget if you're still on 4s um, the tattoo 1550s are also pretty decent but they cost almost twice as much so you know when these china hobby line 6s packs came on the scene when i was going to 6s i got a few I was able to get the three pack for $77 and I think I got them on sale 10% off. So that brought the price per pack down very low to the low twenties. You know, I've gotten all of these packs on sale because I wait for those sales to arrive. I bought um, these on black Friday, these on one of the other earlier sales. And the thing is that you can get six S packs for 21 to $24. If you wait for the sales, that's not bad at all. Um, but I can tell you this one is not on par. It is the lowest. I think this was the one that was closer to $21 um, or $22 or so. But uh, it just doesn't hold up, guys. The cells don't stay balanced as long. We were running two and a half rounds with no free lap for our practice session. And uh, this one just did not seem to have the same amount of power as those other ones. So right away, let's take this one out of the mix. Now, these last three all performed very similarly. So I think you'll be good with any of those. Now, I've heard rumors that the Xylo and the Race Day Quads pack are made by the same manufacturer. They do look a little similar in size, but I can't confirm that. I don't know if they're exactly the same size. I, I don't think that they are. The Race Day Quads look slightly bigger to me, but I'm gonna put the weights of all four of these on the screen now so that you can see what the weights are. Just using them in the field, neither one of them seemed so much heavier than, um, than any of the other ones. I know historically, you can kind of always say that China Hobby Lines, at least on their 4S packs, were always way heavier. Some speculated that they were actually a higher um, MA rating and that they just kind of downgraded them to make them seem like they performed well. Whatever the case though, um, the 6S versions, I, don't, I can't recommend them yet. The Xylo and the Race Day Quads are very new. Um, those probably, the Race Day Quads was the first day I used them. Xylo have had maybe five or six cycles on them. This Pyro Pack probably has seven or eight cycles. So all fairly new, still performing very well. And I would have been a little hard pressed to tell you in a blind test which pack I was flying. These all gave an excellent amount of power. Um, they felt like you just have another gear in the air. Now this Pyro Pack is the light version. It is not the heavy version. So it's a little bit lighter there. Um, so all of them are great. I'm not going to go into too much detail since I wasn't measuring, you know, all of the cell voltages after every lap, but either one of these are going to do you good. I did have some other pyro. This is the heavy version um, of the 1250 that is much older. Now I bought this used from a guy who was switching packs. So, and I use these for my practice sessions. So these probably have, you know, 60 cycles on them or so. 
and I did notice that these sagged much quicker. So I know that a China Hobby Line after six, you know, four S pack after 60 cycles was still kind of getting broken in. It's still basically new. These you can feel some some sag in there. So I would not recommend using those for an actual race. I could feel a huge difference flying either one of these three new packs compared to this one, which that's no big news, but I, I do feel like these six, six S packs perhaps degrade a little faster than the four S counterparts, which is interesting because I feel like I land them at higher voltages. When I checked, I, I typically landed any of these at about 3.8 volts. Whereas when I was still on four S running 2405 motors, I would really often land, you know, 3.3 to 3.5 volts, but they would always bounce back fine. I do notice that all of these um, seem to not always balance perfectly you have to leave them on the charger for a good amount of time i don't know if that's just my particular charger but i'm gonna have a review on the two chargers that i use very soon and you guys can comment there so uh, leave in the comments what you found i think you can't go wrong with eating one of those three in case anyone's curious um so just wait to the sales you just kind of missed black friday so hopefully you stocked up i know i did i'm gonna do a black friday roundup pretty soon to show everyone what i was able to get uh, or i may have already played it prior to this video who knows depending on how i schedule it so thanks guys mm -hmm.